Okay, so this is the Chris and Gwen show. Yeah. We're talking about C60, and this is the, the last part of this discussion. We're going to do some demonstrations that talk about some of the questions people have that I don't think they really have a lab understanding right, right. of C60, so I'm going to let you take over. Well, just a, a little bit about me. If you haven't watched what the, kind of the previous videos, I'm the owner of SES Research. We've been selling C60 and carbon nanomaterials to research institutions around the world since 1991. We're one of the first companies to actually deliver commercial quantities of carbon nanomaterials. So I've been in the business for a very long time and excited about everything that's happening with C60 and, and the different oils. Um, and I wanna talk a little bit about, uh, we went over it in the previous video, I just wanna talk kind of briefly about the process of making C60. You create what's called C60 and watch the previous video and you can see, hear, hear about that process. And that's soot, that's your, what you create in the original process is soot, and it's about 15% fullerenes, and those fullerenes are C60, C70, C84, so 15% soot, and then the rest of it, 85% of it, is amorphous carbon, right? And the way that you get the C60, really the first step is to get the fullerenes away from the amorphous carbon. So basically, you dissolve the, the you actually put all of that material into toluene, and then you filter it, and fullerenes will dissolve in toluene, just like sugar would dissolve in water. When you filter it, the sugar in the water goes through, or the fullerenes and the toluene go through the filter, and what stays on top of the filter is, um, is the carbon, right? So now you've separated it out, it's in a liquid, so you boil it off, and you have what we sell that as extract to institutions around the world. Now that extract, again, is C60, C70, C84, higher fullerenes. Uh, now you want to separate out the C60, so you typically put that in some sort of column. When you're flushing through a column, the C60 goes through faster, the C70 gets binds and gets held up, uh, and so you collect the first fraction, that first fraction is C60, boil that off, and now you've got pure C60, and if you're interested in putting it in any sort of oil or consuming it, make sure you vacuum oven bake it, right? So that's the process of making uh, and extracting C60 from carbon soot. So I wanted to talk about, we've, we've got some products, and, and I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know why we ordered this first product and you ordered, you ultimately ordered it as well, um, but something told me I needed to get this product and do some testing. Uh, and the testing is really simple and we're gonna do this as a live demonstration. Um, and so we ordered this product and it's, it's this, it's C- uh, or Carbon-60, I think they're, we don't even need to say their website because um, you don't need to go there after this presentation. So what all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna filter it. So you just heard the process. If there is C60 in something, it doesn't get top, stopped at the top of the filter, it actually goes through the filter. And in the case of sunflower seed oil, and we're gonna zoom here in here in a, in a little bit, but in the case of sunflower seed oil, we'll zoom in and we'll show you all this. Um, but this is purple. So when you add C60 to purple sunflower seed oil, I mean to uh, sunflower seed oil, it turns purple, right? Uh, this one actually has a little bit of powder at the bottom because we put too much powder in here. Uh, and so that's what, that's what C60 in sunflower seed oil looks like, right? And just for the people that haven't tried the olive oil, olive oil is not purple, it's right. amber, yeah. which is really basically the color of the olive oil. So our recommendation in general is to stick with the olive oil. That was what's in their original uh, Bati uh, Paris study, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, but if you're gonna try other materials, let's make sure that they're, that you're actually getting C60, uh, that you're actually getting C60 inside of the, uh, um, inside of the, uh, in this case, sunflower seed oil, right? Okay, and before you go into the actual filtering, I wanna say that I was totally slammed on making a comment about extraction and carbon. Right. Um, and what I think that people on, you know, the watch YouTube videos don't understand is that not all, not all C60 is C60. Right. Right. So there's some that are carbon. Right. Carbon is not C60. So so, so uh, it's kind of like fruit that? and bananas, right? So yeah. so all bananas are fruits, but not all fruits are bananas. So all C60 is carbon, but definitely not all carbon is C60. So um, before the fullerenes, before C60 and all of the fullerenes, there were only two forms of carbon, right? It was graphite and diamond. Those are the only two forms of carbon. Now with fullerenes, you've got that third allotrope of carbon, uh, and it's the first molecule, like contained molecule of carbon, because graphite sheets end up with free ends, right? Whereas C60, because it's folded up on itself, doesn't have any free ends, right? So very interesting. 
So yeah, uh, on this particular product, product the, the, the uh, label says organic sunflower oil and carbon, which this is organic sunflower oil and carbon, it's just specifically carbon 60, right? And so what I'd like to do is just a, a simple uh, a demo. We're gonna actually filter this. So let's kind of just put this up. Can I also say that some labs, even if they're using C60, couldn't they use not the right ratio? They could use to be making it less expensively. Yeah. They could not be using the study amount and be using a smaller concentration of fullerene of C60, which would make it cheaper to produce, but they're still not putting the amount in there that was what you guys use. Right, right. So, and no one would know, right? There's yeah, it, no would be, know it would be pretty hard to tell. I think if you're looking at, so olive oil just tends to get darker. So as you add C60 olive oil, it's going to be darker, right? And there's a point at which um, you probably can dissolve more into it. Uh, but it's not it's not going to be necessarily visible, especially if you don't have like if we had a row of test tubes and each one had a different concentration, kind of like I don't know if you've ever been to teeth whitening. Mm -hmm. If you if you don't put them all side by side, you look at one, you're like, okay, they're all the same color. If you put them in a row, it'd be very clear that this one was darker than that one. But if you're just ordering it online, um, if you're just ordering it online, then you're you're going to end up with um, you know the inability to kind of discern the difference, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. right? It'll be our next experiment. Yeah, we can yeah, have, have it all <laughs> we'll have lined, it lined up. up. <laughs> all right, so um, so that's that's the real stuff. This is interesting. This is a. Uh, it looks very black. What was your impression when you kind of first opened it? I thought it was nasty. Yeah. I was like, that does not look like anything that I have been taking. So this is looks like black and it's not that it's chunky yeah, yeah. but it's like black particles that um you, you can see the particles and so but like i said the label says carbon not so interestingly right so yeah. uh because some of the claims about this are that this c60 is the most um uh, uh molecular c60 right so it's down to individual molecules what's interesting is you can't see a molecule of c60 Right, it's actually like 0.7 nanometers across. You cannot see 660 if you have one in your hand. Like, um, so when you see particles in here, um, really you're either seeing uh, what we believe is carbon, uh, amorphous carbon, or you would be seeing big chunks of C60 potentially would show up like that if they were suspended. This is actually what I would call a colloid of, um, of carbon of some form in sunflower seed. So you put this in a centrifuge, it actually doesn't, uh, you know, most things when you put in a centrifuge and if it's just suspended, um, the, 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 the particles will um, come out of solution, right? Um, not really out of solution because they're not dissolved, but they'll, they'll fall to the bottom. This is actually really interacting at a, at a level that is um, colloidal, right? So it mean, what colloidal means is it's just a suspension, so the particles are just there. Um, and we'll show that here in a second. So what I'm gonna do, this is just a, um, a syringe, gonna suck up some of this material. We actually don't need that much. And then this is a filter in this particular case. This is a, a 0.2 um, micrometer filter, right? It's from VWR. So you just put this right on here. It's cool to know lab guys. <laughs> we bring all the geeky stuff. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I, I can hold the test tube if you like. All right. Yeah. So why don't you hold that test tube? Um, why don't you make sure that we can see what's coming oh, yeah. out? And is that a good shot? So all I'm going to do is just push this in. Let's rotate this. She uh, she's so strong. She <laughs> she broke uh, our test tube. So <laughs> that's a C60 power. So we're just going to filter this. It's going to take a little while because it is a pretty fine filter. Um, and I guess I could have done one other display. What I can promise you is that if I took that other purple solution, um, nothing would be filtered. Like nothing would stay on top of the filter. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure. It's going through the filter, and now you can see what's coming out. I don't know if you can see those drops clearly. Um, They're kind of clear. Yeah. So I'm going to just kind of segue for a second. I'll take the pressure off of this, and I'm going to grab this test tube this is pure sunflower seed oil right that looks the same clear and then we're gonna keep doing some more filtering so when companies Whoa. that use carbon say there's not a solvent <laughs> or extraction it i, I just want to be clear on what your thoughts are it looks to me like it's mixed 
It's carbon. Like, I'm convinced it's carbon. Like, I don't, I don't know because we haven't done, like, a mass spec on it. Um, but it's not C60, it's so not C60. then you don't need, there isn't a solvent. That's yeah. true. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. there's no extraction because it's just mixed in. It's yeah. just mixed together, right? Yeah, so I, I don't know what process this um, is going through. You know, he's uh, he, on the website, it's like it's a proprietary process, and he's figured out how to make single molecules of C60. Um, that, that doesn't really matter because, again, when you dissolve it in, in this case, sunflower seed oil, uh, when it's dissolved, it's actually at a single molecular level. So whether you put it in, the only thing that if you could create individual molecules of C60 and then put them in sunflower seed, the only advantage would be that they would dissolve quickly because they're already single molecules. So it's, you don't have to break up the crystals that naturally form. I think that's, that may be enough. Can you see that? We'll put it side by side, a little bit lower. Let's get this guy out of the way. So this is straight sunflower oil, yep. and now this is... Filtered carbon-60. Right, now let's show what sunflower oil with C60 looks like. Oh, yeah, that's this one. We'll put this on top, because that's really what it's supposed so to look So this like. is sunflower oil with C60. This is on the... This sunflower oil, yeah. Sunflower oil, and this is with the carbon extracted, I would filtered. say. Filtered, filtered, not so, extracted. Oh yeah, so let me say the right word, because yeah. someone's gonna nail me. So then you guys can see the difference here. I mean, this is like something that unless you have all these different types and someone who has a lab, I don't know that you can have an opinion one way or the other because you don't really know what's going on with all the- Until you run this test. Right, until and, you run and this even test. Even I, when I saw it, I was, okay, I, okay it's dirty, but you could have, uh, you, know, you could have amorphous carbon and then you could have, so let's say I, I put, uh, whatever carbon he's putting in his sunflower seed oil, let's say I put that with this. If you filtered it, it would be purple, right? Just like this is, and it would have carbon stuff on the top, right? So I, the reason we had to filter it is like, okay, great, it looks like amorphous carbon, but we gotta filter it because it could have come out blue. I mean, it could have come out purple. If this came out dark, then we would say, yes, it's got C60, and I'm a little nervous because I don't know what the other stuff is, mm -hmm. right? But in this case, the other stuff comes out and it doesn't seem to be much. Now, I'm a scientist, so I'm not gonna say this doesn't have any C60 in it. It could have trace amounts of C60. Um, but I'm gonna say this has C60 in it and that's when you um, saturate uh, sunflower seed oil. It looks like that. So it's, I can unequivocally say it's unsaturated sunflower seed oil. Well, one other thing you told me when we had lunch with Carol was that, uh, and I want to bring this up because I think it's a similar comparison, is um, some people talk about shungite. And shungite, I usually have some actually on my desk, but it's a black rock. It looks like a piece of charcoal, kind right. of. And there's also some C60. So so this is interesting because that's what I said, and that's what I thought. I actually thought that shungite does have C60 in it. Um, when I was talking with Philippe. So this is a guy who has been in a lab. He's a professor at, um, at McGill University in, in, in Canada. Uh, he actually says they've done as much testing as they can and there is no C60 okay. in Shungite. There's a TC boundary layer, layer. I was getting them confused. So this is the a tertiary boundary layer in the earth when, you know, when the meteorite hit and there were fires all around the planet and so there's a layer of carbon from that and you can actually extract, um, you know, it's more than parts per million, uh, but, but it's not much more. And you can extract some C60 from that layer. But Shungite doesn't, you know, as much testing as they did in the early days at Rice University and continue to do, has no C60 in it. Okay, and, but I can understand the confusion because it looks like it's carbon. It's like carbon It's stuff. like a black, flat looking um, rock and it looks like a piece of carbon. Yeah. So I can understand it that it's if, a you piece of carbon, yeah. Yeah, if you ground it up that I can understand the confusion. So now to be clear that there is no C60 in Shungite, if it has any other healing abilities possibly, I don't know. Just the energy that was pressed yeah. into it or whatever. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it's possible. But if someone's diluting or soaking shungite in water, which I know some people are, it's not the C60 aspect that you're getting out of it. It could be something else, but we don't know what that Definitely is. Definitely not C60. Okay. Yeah. So is there anything else that you guys want to... Well, um, you just to share, I know you talked about your newsletter in one of the previous podcasts. How do they get onto your newsletter? Okay. So 
uh, two things. One is uh, on the description of this email, if you want to order C60 direct from SES Lab yes. of yep. Research, then you can do it. There'll be a link. And if you want to order it from me because maybe you want some other products or have questions, that information is under the YouTube as well. Um, it would be helpful if you like the YouTube and not dislike the YouTube. <laughs> that would be helpful. And then share it with people. But um, there'll be links for you to order products if you want to order um, this right. four ounce bottle of C60 and olive oil. They have other products on the SES yep. website. That website will be listed as well. And, um, I, and if people want to contact me personally, that information will be at the bottom of the YouTube. Excellent. And, and, and if you want to reach out to us, you can find us. But make sure you use her link because she deserves the credit for, uh, for anybody who decides to purchase from us. Okay. Thanks.